The Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, the home energy specialist. Lavalley Building Supplies for home improvement and construction from concept to completion. Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. Vermonto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont, always fresh. And by Casasa, free checking that pays. Now available at Claremont Savings Bank. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide. Here's Sarge and Hopkinton with Kearsarge leading 11 to eight as we start the second quarter. Misfire there by the Cougars. And Hopkinton after almost getting the last second, last second shot to go on the inbounds pass. Hawks will have a chance to tie it up here. Before Maserve gets a shot off, she is fouled, but it was on the floor, so inbound for the Hawks underneath their own hoop. Stay tuned at the end of today's hoops matchup for the Ramontos Brick Oven Pizza play pick of the game. Ramontos Pizza always fresh. So Hawks in that first quarter opening up a nice lead. Kearsarge coming all the way back and now they scored I believe nine straight points as I believe it was eight to two at one point. Yes. But the Hawks really, they've settled into their offense. They move the ball on almost every possession. They're not mm -hmm. turning the ball over uh, without getting some movement or at least getting a nice shot off as we see right there. Off the glass, number 13, Taylor Clark. Once again, patient team moves the ball and Clark gets a nice open, you know, eight foot jumper and gets it to go. Kearsarge drives into a little bit of traffic and the traveling violation, so it'll go back to the Hawks. Our next YCN Wednesday night high school game of the week will feature the Goffstown Grizzlies traveling to take on the Lady Raiders of Lebanon. Game of the week premieres at 8 p.m. on Wednesday nights. Check your TV schedule for additional airings. Nice steal there by Kearsarge, and the shot is no good. Offensive rebound, not able to be put back, and it'll, but it'll stay Kearsarge ball. To the original turnover, Caitlin Kleckner with the steal and the missed layup, layup, but Prescott gets the offensive rebound, and Kearsarge will inbound underneath their own hoop. Get it back inside to Prescott, but some nice defense being played in the serve. Really, she kept her ground, kept straight up. She wasn't gonna get the foul, and nice defensive effort. As you see Prescott getting the defensive board. And a foul, I believe, on Hopkinton after the rebound. So we've kind of got that battle of the bigs inside between uh, Prescott and Masserv. That's been a battle all night. We've seen Masserv get a couple nice baskets and hold her own on the defensive side, but Prescott, she's been able to get, get inside as well. Yeah, there's been a number of uh, nice plays defensively in the paint from both teams. You know, not a ton of huge blocks, but really just keeping your feet planted, extending your arms. Oh, just when I say that, it was a right. <laughs> Just as you say that, the foul is on the Hopkinton Hawks. Not sure who they call that one on, but either way, 15, Courtney Loster, the senior captain, will go to the line and shoot a pair. And they called that one on number 25, Ellie Owen. Loster's first free throw up, no good. She tries to extend the lead. Kearsarge leading 11 to 10. Six minutes to go in the first half. Lost her second is up and good, so she extends the lead to two now, 12-10. But Hopkinton, really the story of this game, even though they got the big lead, then they blew the lead, they're still hanging right around, and the biggest thing is, even though they're not converting on the offensive end, they're playing great defense when they need to. Yeah, they really are. They've really defended the Cougars very well. Pierce Arch, pretty high scoring team, but they only limited them to 11 first quarter points. Definitely a victory for Hopkinton. A little aggressive on the defensive possession there. That one will go, I believe, against Kearsarge number 23, Madison Courser. And that's a foul you don't want to have 
that far from the basket, especially with this much time left. That was their fifth team foul with 5.38 to go in the half. Don't want to put anybody on the line and give them extra chances at three points. Once again, as we see, nice patience there. And then when they have the moment to drive, they do. There's Abby Houston not getting it to go, but a deep offensive rebound by Ellie Owen. And then the drive by Lyndon Flanagan. She will go to the line, but we'll take a break. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide. Here's Sarge leading Hopkinton 12-10, 5.20 to go in the first half. And Lyndon Flanagan, the sophomore, hits her first free throw, and it's 12-11 now. Stay tuned at the end of our telecast for the HR Clough Kearsarge Heating turning up the heat player of the game when we'll pick the top performer in tonight's matchup. Second free throw up, no good, but a nice offensive rebound. Number 15, Amelia Thomas, she went unblocked. Yeah, really nobody boxing her out. And the easy rebound, an easy two points. Ball bouncing around, it finds a Kearsarge player, number 32, Katie, uh, excuse me, Debbie Kroshar. Doesn't get it to go, Hopkinton now with a chance to add to their lead. 13-12 now their lead after hitting the untraditional three-point play, making the first free throw and missing the second one, getting an offensive rebound, right. putting it in. <laughs> don't see that too often. No, you don't. So Hopkinton really weathered that run by the Cougars. As we said, a 9-0 run that bridged the first and second quarters. But Hopkinton now has gotten back on their game. They lead 13-12, and both offenses are patient when they need to be. They won't rush it. They'll rush up the court, and if there's nothing there, they'll pull it back out and set up the half-court offense. Yeah, and the Hawks playing very good zone defense, really uh, rotating player they have to defend very well, communicating very well. Looks like a kind of a 2-1-2 two, two, uh, formation. And the shot by number 30, Macy Hansen. Doesn't catch anything, it'll go out of bounds and go back to the Hawks. And you're right, on the on the uh, defensive zone, that's one of those way, things where, you know, that could be part of the struggles in Ooh. the early season. A stolen away, and Brayshaw with a layup attempt, it's no good. She'll go to the line and shoot a pair. So that might be some of the struggles on the early going for this Hawks team where they just trying to figure out that zone and get the communication because as we've seen from, you know, the big college programs, specifically Syracuse, as Brayshaw's first free throw up, no good. We've seen, it's hard. You've got to communicate, you've got to yeah. work at it, and now maybe they're gelling at the second, you know, this halfway point of the season. Brayshaw gets her second one to go. Stolen away, the inbounds, tipped and stolen. Shot is no good, but the offensive rebound goes to the Cougars. They'll have another chance. Now we'll see if that defense can get to work. Forcing the long shot and getting the offensive rebound. And the Hawks will look to run, but stolen away. Goes back to Kearsarge. Yeah, well, if the Hawks really want to beat this undefeated Kearsarge team, they're going to need to limit their turnovers, and we just saw their back-to-back -back inbound turnovers. Can't be doing that if you want to beat the Cougars. But so far, it's a tie game. And they just leave number three, Megan Roy, wide open, a step inside the three-point line. She gets it to go, and then a turnover, a forced pass there, and number 30, Macy Hansen puts it up, so Kearsarge on a little bit of a flurry here. They now lead 17-13 with 3.15 to go in the second quarter. We'll take a break. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide here in Kentucky, New Hampshire, where the Kearsarge Lady Cougars lead the Lady Hawks 17-13, approaching three minutes to play in the second quarter. Hawks breaking the press nicely now, just trying to get it inside and get something to go. And just before she passes it off, Ellie Owen takes an extra step, kind of caught amongst the trees inside. 
Our replays are being brought to you by Kasasa. Free checking that rewards in cash each month. Ask for Kasasa at Claremont Savings Bank. Qualifications and rules apply. See bank for details. Member FDIC. Here starts with another offensive rebound. They'll get a second chance, and that was a beautiful pass. Just dumped it over the defender, and Groshan just really just muscled her way in there. And one thing we're seeing here from the Hawks, they're giving up a lot of offensive rebounds and second chance points. And Grayshaw gets it tipped away, but she recovers it. Grayshaw from just inside the arc. They're gonna say that was a two-pointer. So just a step inside, maybe her foot was on the line, but either way, Pearsarge now leading 21-13, and Hopkinton now maybe trying to do a little too much. Yeah, Madison Brayshaw, one of the more athletic female basketball players, at least in Division Three. She's only a freshman, so really, she's gonna be a force for this Pearsarge team for years to come. We saw in that play there, she was able to keep her dribble through multiple defenders. She's really leading this Cougar team. And also a player, sophomore Megan Roy, she's touched the ball a lot tonight, had a couple nice shots. And they can't leave her open because she can shoot from downtown. But they'll, they'll be patient, they'll pick their spots, swing it around, try and catch, catch somebody in that zone napping as we, as we talk about it. They've done really well. The biggest problem is giving up those offensive rebounds. Right, yeah, you gotta really, you gotta box out. You really gotta always play defense even when you're on offense in terms of boxing out. And Hopkinton has become a little more relaxed with that lately. Drive on the baseline, Crosshart, she gets her own rebound and puts it back in, gets it to go, and the Hawks now trail 23-13, a minute to play in this first half. And that's the biggest thing, when you play zone, you're so used to covering an area, and then when the shot's up, you need to get a body on somebody. Right. And, and that's what will happen to a lot of these teams that play zone defense is mm -hmm. once they're going for the rebound, they they have to remember, get the nearest body. Right. Because if that ball falls, the uh, offense, as we've seen tonight, has a big advantage. Yeah, that is the one thing these, this Hawk team needs to remember. You can't just cover your zone once the shot is up. You gotta find that body. You gotta man up. And just before the shot is off, a timeout is called just before Brayshaw took the shot. So with 31 seconds to go, 23-13 our score, we'll take a break. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide. We have just about 31 seconds to go in the first half. The Cougars leading the Hawks 23-13 and Basically, for the last four minutes of this second quarter, it's been all Cougars. Hawks did have the lead 13 to 12. A nice inside pass, and that one goes to Macy Hansen. She gets it up with ease. 25-13 now the lead for the Hawks. Hansen, Ooh. nice defense at the timeline, steals it away, gets it up to Brayshaw. She'll go up for two, no good. Mm. Rebounded nicely there by number 11, Chloe Wood but then turned over with some pressure defense. So with 6.4 seconds, Hansen will go to the line. The senior will be shooting one and one. If your business is interested in advertising on YCN or you'd like, you, or you'd like your team to be televised, give us a call or email us at info at ycnnow.com. So Hansen misses her free, free throw. The Hawks get the rebound. Will they get it off before the buzzer? They do. Katie Masserv gets it off, but she's not able to connect. So at halftime, the Cougars of Kearsarge lead the Hopkinton Hawks 25 to 13. We'll take a break and come back with the Echo Communications Halftime Show. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. The Game of the Week Halftime Show is presented by Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. Welcome back. We are at halftime here in Kentucky, New Hampshire, where the Hawks trail the Cougars 25 to 13. And Andrew, in that first half, it was an interesting first half with the Hawks getting the big lead. Here starts coming back and overtaking them. 
and then pulling away towards the end, who are some of the leaders for both teams? Yeah, so for Kearsarge, the uh, scoring leaders is Madison Brayshaw. She has seven points, and then next is Debbie Croshaw. She has six points. So those two players have led the offense for the Cougars. And for Hopkinton, really the only player is Chloe Wood. She has three points, so she's leading Hopkinton right now. They've only scored 13 total points, so, you know, the Hawks really came out strong with those eight uh, early points, but since they've only scored five, so Kearsarge's defense has really turned things up. And they really spread the ball around, it seems like, and, and as we talked about, they play good defense on, on the defensive end with, with the zone, just have not been able to get the, keep, keep Kearsarge from getting the offensive rebounds, and that seems to be what's really hurting the Hawks. Yeah, and we talked about this earlier in the game, uh, the Hawks playing zone defense, which seemed to work very well early in the game. But as you said, they need to turn around and really box out Kearsarge once the ball is up in the air. And uh, they haven't been too successful with that, especially in the second quarter, as the Cougars really have dominated this game ever since Hopkinton scored those early eight points. All right, so we'll see if Hopkinton can maybe make a comeback here in the second half, or if Kearsarge will remain undefeated. The score at half, 25 to 13. Thanks for watching the Echo Communications Halftime Show, second half after this.